Hey guys, this is Smithy. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a very, very special video. We're going to talk about my top five indie brands that have absolutely blown my mind. I have tried so much from these brands and nothing, absolutely nothing has disappointed me from these brands. So if you guys want to see which are the five brands that I'm going to talk about, then please keep on watching. So the first brand that I'm going to talk about is Merit Beauty. And I am first going to start my base by using this Merit Beauty's foundation stick. And this one is in the shade buff. This is how it is. And let me swatch it for you guys. This is like a perfect shade for me. Definitely has more of a light to medium coverage and it builds on to beautifully and blends seamlessly into the skin. I have a full dedicated video testing out everything from Merit Beauty. I have applied this foundation on my face right now as my base makeup and I absolutely love it. You can make it as a buildable medium coverage and you can see after I apply this, I do apply a little bit of concealer if I'm going for like that full makeup look, but for an everyday uh, look, this by itself is great. I absolutely love this product and this is definitely worth checking out. Actually, everything from Merit Beauty that I've tested, nothing has disappointed me. And same goes with all the other brands that I'm going to talk about today. Nothing from the brand that I've tested out and I've tested quite a few things from these brands. And these have been like my top, top, top indie brands to check out. So I'm only going to talk about these five brands. So the first one is Merit Beauty, as you can see on my face. Now talking about it, let's apply our makeup in the way I'm comfortable in. But the next brand that I have to mention is M Cosmetics. Now M Cosmetics, if you have to try like one thing, I cannot even say that because I love everything from them. But I would say one of my top, top, top things from M Cosmetics to try is definitely their cream blush and bronzer sticks i absolutely love them and i think there are a lot of cream uh, products in the market you guys have seen like so many uh, bronzer sticks blush sticks especially cream products in the market but the formula is what is like absolutely unique for m cosmetics it's super pigmented but it blends onto the skin like a dream I'll show you in just a second and you can see how dark that product is but just a few little stippling motions and it just blends by itself. It's beautiful. The formula is what I'm like a big fan of and everything from their line. I mean my top products would definitely be these cream sticks. Their lip cushions, absolute favorite of mine. I have one in the shade Venetian Rose and I have a lot of their uh, true glosses. Now, if you are looking for that gel consistency gloss, you might not like that gloss. But I would say if you are looking for a gloss with some pigmentation, it is so beautiful. It is really, really good. I basically love another uh, gloss that I'm going to talk about. But from M Cosmetics, like my top products, these things, the Heaven's Glow uh, blush, I've mentioned several times on my channel. These are the true glosses that I have from M Cosmetics. This is their liquid lipstick and their lip cushions. These ones super favorite of mine now talking about lips let's just moisturize our lip and for that i'm going to again use a merit beauty's lip oil the tinted lip oil and this is in the shade taupe beautiful i almost use this every day in my life if you're looking for like a tinted lip oil like look no further it nourishes your lips and gives a beautiful tint to absolute favorite of mine let's move on to the cream blush so many <laughs> so many to choose from if you're looking for a glowy blush merit beauty has one i think it's called cheek flush balm i have beverly hills with me and i also have the shade which is called cheeky which is more of that mauvey tone i think for today i am just gonna show you beverly hills on one side and you'll see if you're using this as your cream blush, you can definitely avoid the highlighter too because it does give a beautiful glow, but it is not that pigmented. You get like a subtle flush 
of color on your cheeks and I just stipple it out with my stippling brush. So that is Merit Beauty's cream blush. If you want a little more punchiness from your cream blushes, again M Cosmetics has one which is absolutely superb. So I'm going to use that on the apple of my cheeks here. You can see like it's beautiful, beautiful. I might have to like mix and match on the other cheeks because all these indie brands that I'm going to talk about has a beautiful cream blushes, which is definitely worth checking out. That is how M Cosmetics cream blush looks. You can see beautiful. Another brand that is definitely worth checking out is Tower 28. You guys know these have like my favorite blush formulas, even their lip glosses. That is the lip gloss that I basically look for when I'm looking for a lip gloss formula. I'll try this at the end of the video but talking about the cream blush i definitely wanted to show you this also and this one is in the shade magic hour for an everyday look i have a huge dent actually going on here i don't know if you guys can see it or not but i have a huge dent and you can see this would give you like a satin finish not like super matte not super dewy this is so good such a beautiful formula if you are starting out with cream blushes i would definitely say go for tower 28 because they will absolutely blow you away it's beautiful i'm just gonna even it out a tiny little bit on this side too so again if you are looking for like a very subtle blush but a glowy blush merit beauty is the one for you if you're looking for more of a soft matte finish on your face m cosmetics one is the one for you and if you're looking for like a satin finish on your cheeks but with a good punch of color too then the tower 28 one is the one for you so after that is all done i'm basically using my uh hindash palette for uh for my powder today now let's move on to the bronzer you guys know how much i love makeup by mario everything from his line has absolutely been wonderful so i would highly suggest makeup by mario too now the shade medium dark is my absolute favorite in their bronzer and this is what i'm going to apply as my powder bronzer if you guys have been on this channel and following me for a while you know how much i love it makeup by mario definitely has like a special place in my heart i just don't know it just blows me out every time I use it the quality is a beautiful it's user friendly even if it's your first time or even if you are a pro I'm gonna take the same bronzer and apply that as my nose contour too like super easy super quick nothing out of the box now talking about makeup by Mario no surprise at all and no points for guessing <laughs> the highlighter of my choice from my entire collection is from makeup by mario and this is the shade golden you can see the dent it's high time that you take the plastic out of this high time <laughs> okay so i'm gonna take that and apply that on my cheekbones can you see that can you see that just a tap is good enough but it does melt into your skin too, like beautifully. You can make it blinding or you can subtle it out by just blending it into your skin. No matter what, it's just stunning. And I'm also gonna take this in my inner corners too, just for a subtle pop, just like that. And now let's move on to the powder blush. I'm definitely, definitely gonna try Heaven's Glow Blush. But I'm going to take a very tiny little bit and apply it on my cheekbones just for a subtleness just because we have applied a lot of cream blush also. And finally, let's move on to eyeshadow. The brand that I really want to recommend for eyeshadow is Odin's Eye. I have their entire legendary reverse collection and this is basically the palette that was with Judy. I've done three looks using this palette already on my channel. This was in collaboration with Tina from Fancy Face. And this was in collaboration with Annette here on Annette Makeup Corner. So today what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a combination of all three palettes. I don't know what I'm going to do, but we're going to wing it out and see where we land. <laughs> so I'll just show you the palettes and we'll run over this process.
Now you can see the eyes are all complete. Now it's only left for mascara. Now I'm going to use Merit Beauty's mascara. Uh, this is absolutely amazing if you want a lot of length on your lashes. So let me show you the effect of Merit mascara. And you can see in like instantly you can see a lot of length. But if you're a person who loves volume, this one is not for you. You can definitely build it a little bit, but this is mainly known for length. So that's how the final look is come out with. Now, there's only one more step to go through and that is our lips. I absolutely love these lipsticks that I'm gonna talk about. One is Makeup by Mario's a lipstick in the shade Fanda. This is like my everyday lipstick. This goes just with anything and everything. It'll go beautifully with this look too. And this is more of that soft matte uh, finish on the lips. Like, it's just beautiful. Look at that. Mm, it's it's just my favorite. My favorite. Let me just swatch all the things that I have in my hand, which are like my absolute favorite. So this was Makeup by Mario's Fanda. More of like a cool toned, nudie brown shade. Like a mauve brown shade, I would say. Beautiful. Now, if you're looking for a lipstick that is moisturizing on your lips, and it does give a lot of tint on your lips and looks like nourishing and supple. Merit Beauty's signature lipsticks are beautiful. This one is in the shade 1990. I actually do have 1990 as well as La Avenue. So this brown one is 1990. You can see that sheen, right? Beautiful. And then this one is La Avenue. It definitely has a little more of that mauve berry tone to it and that's La Avenue. you see that beautiful beautiful tones i know what this is called but m cosmetics liquid lipsticks again let me swatch it on top very very similar tones now you know my taste in the lip shade right <laughs> this one is in the shade rose nude the top one beautiful again cool tone mauve brown lipstick beautiful and then if you're looking for like a lip gloss with a tint in it the m cosmetics uh, true glosses have definitely a lot of shade to it like a color to it but it does have that glossy effect if you do want a lot of glossiness but if you do not want a lot of like shade to it i would highly suggest tavo 28 and this one is in the coconut and this has more of that jelly consistency that just smooths out all your lines and textures and this one is in the shade cashew which is more of the brownie nude shade i might use one of the shades on my lips but you can see look at those shiny things the pink one is coconut and the nudie brown one is cashew beautiful it is okay so let's do cashew today just because i want to <laughs> okay oh my god this is amazing just amazing i love it i love it okay let me just wipe off all the shades but you can see like how everything looks before it transfers to my clothes because i have to go to church <laughs> in just a second <laughs> and look at the final look these are like my top five indie brands that I definitely want everyone to test out because nothing, nothing from these brands have like disappointed me. Again, just to wrap up, the five brands that I really, really, really I'm impressed out of is Merit Beauty, Makeup by Mario, Odin's Eye Cosmetics, M Cosmetics and Tower 28. Oh my God, beautiful, beautiful brands. And you can see the full face that I've achieved using these brands. It is out of the world, amazing, foolproof, absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if 
you have an indie brand that you've tried and nothing has disappointed you and you absolutely love 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 that indie brand and you absolutely go nuts over the new releases if you have one definitely do leave it down in the comment section below but otherwise you know what to do like this video do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so that you're notified every time that i post next i generally upload three videos every single week every tuesdays thursdays and saturdays at 9 a.m eastern standard time until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.